Hi there, and uh, welcome to this video about front matter CMS and its snippets functionality. Snippets are smaller pieces of reusable content that you can use to save a lot of time and effort, especially if you write a lot of content and you have these block quotes or media assets that you have to insert in every single page. That way you don't have to remember all of it. You can just by clicking on a button, adding all of these things to your content. Snippets can help you establishing a really quick workflow for writing your content. So let's dive in into the snippets uh, topic and see how you can configure them in front matter. The first thing that you need to know about snippets is that we have two types. One is a content snippet and the other one is a media snippet. Content snippets are basically the content that you're going to add. Media snippets are all about the assets like inserting an image if you have, for instance, a caption or a special markup for images or any other media assets, you can then create a media snippet and then add it to your content. So that's why we have uh, both of them and they are available in two different places. And that's what you're going to see in this video. So here I am in Visual Studio Code with Front Matter Preview already opened to the current page. The current page has some sample content and what I'm going to do now is add the alert or notification component to my content. This alert component has two things. It requires a type and it requires a message. Once the type and message are filled in, I can save the page and I can actually see it being loaded on the preview. Now the alert component has three different types. When I'm going to open the Astro component, you can see that each of these types will have a different look and feel. Like for instance, a warning will be yellow and an error message will be red. Every time that I'm going to use this component, I need to remember which types are available. And this is where snippets can help me so that I don't have to remember the types, that the snippets know the type and I just need to click which type that I want to use. So here is a preview of all the alerts that are possible. And now we are going to start configuring our own snippet to make it easier to use this component. The easiest way to start is from actual content. So let's grab what we created before, copy it, and then go to the front matter dashboard. On the front matter dashboard, there's the snippet dashboard. In the snippet dashboard, you will find the create new snippet. If you click on it, it will open a dialogue. In this dialogue, you will be asked for a title, a description and the actual snippet content. So fill in the title description and the content of the snippet that we just created. In the snippet, it's contents. We are going to remove the type and the message and we replace it with placeholders. Placeholders are going to be placed within two uh, square brackets. And once added, they will become fields when you're starting to use this snippet. So for this snippet, it will be a type placeholder and it will be a message placeholder. Now, once ready, we click on save and we can start testing out our new content snippet. If you now go back to the content, you can add the snippet by clicking on the snippet action where you will see the newly created snippet. When you click on the add button, you will see that it will ask two things of you, the type and the message. That's where we have to manually fill in the type and the message. Of course, this is something we can optimize because we don't always want to fill in all of these details. Like for instance, the type would be better to have a dropdown of all the available types. So that's what we can do inside the front matter.json file. In our configuration at the bottom, you will find the front matter.contents.snippet setting. In that setting, you will see that our new snippet is there. And what you can see as well is that there are two fields. We have the type field and we have the message field. And in the type field, that's where we are going to do some changes. So let's head over to the documentation. On the documentation of snippets, you can read more about fields and the type of fields that are supported. Right now we have two types, which is a string and a choice. Choice is what perfectly fits for this kind of purpose, allows the user to select one of these options. So that's what we are going to use. So back over to our configuration, that's where we are going to change the type to the choice type and specify info as a default value 
and add the choice options, which is info, warning, and error. Once that is done, we can test out the snippet. We go over to the content, click on the add snippet action, and then click on the plus. And now what you see is a dropdown instead of an input field. So that's where we can just select each and every option that is available. And the moment we select the option, it will also update the snippet content. That is already a great improvement, but there's one more thing that you can add. And that is when you are working with content that is already present and you want to insert selected text. And for that, we have a special front matter selected text placeholder. So on the documentation site, there is a couple of things on placeholders that you can add, like for instance, the known placeholders like year and month can be used, but you also have that fm underscore selected underscore text placeholder. This placeholder can then be added to your messages field. And once added to your messages field, you can just select some text and then add the snippet and it's already included inside your snippet. So you don't have to write the text anymore because you just selected it and it will be replaced by the snippet. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, there's a second type of snippets and which is a media snippet. In this media snippet, for instance, this is where I'm going to use it for inserting media files. Like for instance, I have a caption component to which I always have to specify the title and the source. And the source is the relative path to my image. Now, if I don't know this, or if I always have to look it up, it might be easier to just use a snippet and to automatically let it be inserted by front matter. So the same thing can be done. We can go back to our snippet dashboard, create a new snippet out of the content that we just uh, created, and then specify that it's a media snippet. And when you specify that it's a media snippet, there's a couple of new placeholders that come into play. So let's go to the documentation site and there we can see which media placeholders you can actually start using. So on the media snippets section of the snippets documentation, you can see the placeholders. These are the two placeholders we need in order to work with a caption snippet. Once we know these placeholders, we can go back to configuring our snippets. So in our media snippets, there we can add the title placeholder and we can add the media URL placeholder. For the media URL placeholder, we are going to add an ampersand in front of it. The ampersand in front of it means that we're not going to HTML encode the value. By default, this is done. That way we ensure that the URL is never HTML encoded. We can save the snippet and once saved, we can go back to the content. From the content, we can click on the image action and there we will see all the images and now we have the possibility to add it. Now, I'm already using the title and the title is also something that I already filled in for all of my images. So if you click on the edit button of your image or the, any other media asset, you can see the editor panel and there you can just write the title, the caption and so on. Once you save it and hover over an image, you will see that you now have a plus sign, which is going to add the image markup for the markdown of your image. And you will have a code tag. And the code tag means that it's going to add the snippet to your content. Once you click on this code tag, you will see that the caption content is inserted together with the title and your source of the image. If you open the preview, you will see that your image is going to be loaded. So that was a brief overview of what snippets are in Front Matter CMS, how you can add them and how you can use them to streamline your workflows. So I hope you learned something from it. If you have any questions, add them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.